Let's now have a look at how to modify the dimensions of rows and columns in a table. We'll start by going through the basics of inserting the table just to, as a refresher. And that's table, insert a table, which allows us to define the number of rows and columns just by changing them, the numbers in these boxes and then OK. And there's our table. We've looked at how to select columns by clicking just above them and selecting rows by clicking just to the left of them. And we've also looked at how to insert and delete use rows and columns using the right mouse button to insert and delete and using the table menu to insert and delete. There's your refresher. We're now going to look at, once we've created our table, how we can change the dimensions of these cells. As always, more than one way to do it. The first way is simply clicking and dragging, and it's quite tricky. If I point to the vertical line that separates these two columns, I can see the black arrow that allows me to select the cell. But if I keep moving left very slightly, and point to the line, you'll see the cursor change to two vertical lines and two arrows. Once you've got your cursor like this, and it is quite tricky getting that exact position, you can then click with your left mouse button and drag. So I'm clicking the left mouse button, I'm keeping it pressed down, and you can see a vertical dotted line there to show that we've got the correct thing selected. I can then move to the right or to the left to adjust the column. And you can see it adjusted the column that was to the left of that line. And that's the normal thing. You could do the same with rows. If I point to this horizontal line, again I've got that changing cursor to the two horizontal lines with arrows. I can then click and drag to make the row above bigger. So again it's going above and to the left of the line that we've got selected. Another way of clicking and dragging is to actually modify the whole table. Just move this so I can see it. You see at the bottom right hand side of the table is a little square. If I point to that, the cursor changes to a two-way diagonal white arrow. If I now click and drag with that, I can change the whole shape of the table. So that's quite effective as well. But the problem with this is not very accurate. You do have ruler bars that you can use on the left and across the top to help you. So again, if I change this column, looking for that cursor change to the two vertical lines and arrows. Now when I click and hold down the mouse button, you can use that ruler to gauge that I'm about four centimeters there, aren't I? And then let go. Still not very accurate. So. When you click with that vertical line, before clicking, if you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, usually just to the left of the spacebar, ALT, the Alt key, and keep that pressed down. When you click the line, you can see the ruler changes to dimensions. And then when you click and drag, it's easier to get the exact dimensions that you want and then let go. And that works on the rows as well. But really, that's still quite tricky to get exactly the dimension that you want. So there's one more way to do this. We've looked at clicking and dragging. We've looked at holding down the Alt key to click and drag. But if you really want to define it, this is the method to use. Make sure the cursor is on the column or row that you want to modify. You don't have to select the whole column, but if it helps you to focus on what you're doing, you can do. But as long as the cursor is on it, that is fine. We then need table properties. Now, to get table properties, you can use the right mouse button and drop down. It's just off your screen there to table properties. Or you can use the table menu. Table, drop down, to table properties. There's a lot of things in table properties and we'll look at more of them in the advanced course. The ones I'm interested in are the row and column tabs. These are where you can change the dimension of the row and column. 
So I've selected column, tells me there, column 1, which column I've got selected, the first column. I can then use these boxes to modify that dimension. So if I want this exactly 3 centimetres, I can change this number to 3. I don't need to put centimetres in again. The computer knows uh, what the default setting is. So I'm leaving that at 3. I could use these arrows to move it up and down as well. So you set that to the dimension you wish. It's measuring it in centimetres. I can change it to a percent, but centimetres is fine. I then click on OK. That column now has been modified so it's exactly 3 centimetres wide. Hopefully we can see that. If I hold down the Alt key and click that dividing line, or oh, I moved it as I did it, but it is 3 centimetres. Let's look at that again. Table, down to Table Properties, selecting the column, and there's the preferred width of the column. Just by changing that number, changes the width of the column. Once you're in this system, if you then want to change the next column, you can simply move to the next or previous columns using these buttons. So if I move to the next column, and let's set this at 5 centimetres. And of course, I've only got two columns, but you could progress through in that way. So my first column is 3 centimetres. My second column will now be 5 centimetres. Let's have a look. 3 centimetres, 5 centimetres. You can do exactly the same on the rows. Table, Table Properties. Select the Row tab and specify the height. Again, it tells you which row you've got selected, so you can use these buttons here to move between the rows that you want. I want to change row 1, change the height to 1 centimeter. Now with, with row you have an extra feature here, it can either be um, at least 1 centimeter, and therefore it will change if your uh, font size changes, it will adjust things a little bit for you, or if you want it exactly 1 centimeter always, you can change that to exactly. So I'm setting it at exactly 1 centimeter. Click on OK, and our first row has been modified to be exactly one centimetre. We'll try it on the second row. Table, Properties. Make sure you've got the row tab selected. Choose the height. Let's make this five centimetres exactly, and then OK. And now you can see that second row is exactly five centimetres. So changing the dimensions of your columns and rows and the whole table. For the whole table you can use this bottom icon to click and drag. You can click and drag the individual lines or you can use table properties and type in the dimensions in the row and columns tab. Finally just a little word of warning if you're going to use a click and drag method. What people often do is this. They're trying to click that line, but instead of clicking the line, they just click to the right of it and select that box first. Now I've got that cell selected. When I do finally get my cursor in the right place and click and drag, it changes the dimension of just that cell. So you can work on cells as well. Select it first, then click and drag, and it will alter the dimensions of just that cell. So that can be quite easy to make a mess of your table. It's a useful feature if you know how to use it well, just be careful.